Greetings again from my study here at West Craig Hill Drive. Welcome to our midweek meditation on this the 10th of August. Last Sunday, August the 7th, was the ninth Sunday after Pentecost, and I again return to the Daily Prayer 2022 book for our meditation. We must continue praying for all who have been affected by the shootings that continue to plague us. It seems to me as if there are multiple shootings almost every day. Let us then pray that our lawmakers will pass legislation that addresses these shootings above and beyond our thoughts and prayers, which of course are indeed important. We need to continue praying also for our Ukrainian brothers and sisters as they fight for their freedom. And we keep all of those who are involved in our prayers as they grieve over their lost loved ones. And as I have said many times, taking the life of a loved of another human being is never ever right. We must remember that God's command is, Thou shalt not kill. Our meditation, reflection, and prayer today begins and ends with the phrase, My soul clings to you, my God. Our psalm comes from is, is Psalm 98. The scripture that forms the basis for the meditation is found in 2 Corinthians, the ninth chapter, verses 6 through 10. We will then continue on with some prayers of intercession, the Lord's Prayer, a closing prayer, and the sentence, My soul clings to you, my God. Reading now from Psalm 98. O oh, sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have gotten him victory. The Lord has made known his victory. He has revealed his vindication in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his steadfast love and faithfulness to the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the victory of our God. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Break forth into joyous song and sing praises. Sing praises to the Lord with the lyre, with the lyre and the sound of melody, with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Make a joyful noise before the King, the Lord. Let the sea roar and all that fills it the world and those who live in it. Let the floods clap their hands. Let the hills sing together for joy at the presence of the Lord, for he is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with equity. And now reading from Second Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, consider this. Whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. And... Whoever sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each must do as already determined, without sadness or compulsion, for God loves the cheerful giver. Moreover, God is able to make every grace abundant for you, so that in all things, always having all of your need, you may have an abundance for every good work. For as it is written, He scatters abroad, He gives to the poor, his righteousness endures forever. The one who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will, multi will supply and multiply your seed and, in and increase our harvest of your righteousness, which brings us to a reflection. The life of St. Lawrence witnesses to his great faith in God. In the third century, after the Romans had demanded that the church turn over its treasures, Lawrence defied them by the by distributing, distributing the monetary riches to the needy. And then he brought a group of poor and suffering people to the authorities, telling them that these people were the true treasures of the church. Lawrence was surely a giver, even to the point of giving his life. Like Lawrence, then, how are we called to give of our possessions and of our very selves? And that brings us to the prayers of the people and intercessory prayers. To God, source of all good gifts, we lift our intentions as we pray. Lord, graciously hear us. That the government leaders may strive to build just and peaceful societies, we pray. Lord, graciously hear us. That our lives may sow good seed everywhere we go, we pray. Lord, graciously hear us that those called to serve in ordained ministry 
and consecrated religious life may be blessed, we pray. Lord, graciously hear us. For the Ukrainian people who fight valiantly for their freedom in this unjust war, we pray. Lord, graciously hear us. For the people of now far too many places who suffer these shootings, may they know Christ's command that we should love one another as he has loved us, we pray. Lord, graciously hear us. That all who work for charitable organizations may lovingly serve those in need, we pray. Lord, graciously hear us. So now, gathering these that we have spoken, and all the prayers that we also hold in silence, we pray, as Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us then close with these words. O God, you continually pour out your blessing on all of creation. So help us to recognize that everything we have is from you, and make us generous sharers of that bounty which we have. Through Christ our Lord we pray. Amen. In our closing sentence, my soul clings to you, my God. Well, that concludes this week's meditation. We are taking a hiatus from our Bible study during the summer months. We will again return to our Bible study in September, and we are moving our weekly worship service to Saturday at 5 o'clock for the rest of the summer. So please join us this Saturday for worship with live music in the sanctuary at 5 p.m. Worship will also be streamed live on Facebook. And if you don't happen to be a Facebook user, the service will also be available on the Parma Greece UCC YouTube channel later on on Sunday afternoon. Have a wonderful day today. See you again next week.